Newt Gingrich, the big thinker. Yeah, I'm going to disappoint those in the audience who want this to be a Hollywood game. The odds are very high I'm going to be the nominee. And I wish you would put aside the gotcha questions. Can we drop a little bit of the pious baloney? There are lots of bunny rabbits that run through. I'm the tortoise. I don't have to go around and point out the inconsistencies of people who aren't going to be the nominee. They're not going to be the nominee. You're going to be the nominee. I'm going to be the nominee. Let's be positive. I think virtually every American has a reason to be worried. This world is in danger of becoming dramatically more dangerous in the not too distant future. Absolutely, totally, fundamentally, 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 radically. I think we're getting it tattooed up here. All the way to Tampa. Okay? I think I'm much more mature than I was when I was speaker. And I'm very concerned about not appearing to be zany. We will have the first permanent base on the moon. When we have 13,000 Americans living on the moon, they can petition to become a state. Really poor children. What if they became assistant janitors and their job was to mop the floor and clean the bathroom? I don't think right-wing social engineering is any more desirable than left-wing social engineering. How come the big boys made a lot of money and they went broke? That's not an attack on capitalism. The message we should give Mitt Romney is, you know, we aren't that stupid and you aren't that clever. He didn't create 100,000 jobs. He didn't come close to creating 100,000 jobs. Are you calling Mitt Romney a liar? Yes. You're calling Mitt Romney a liar? Well, you seem shocked by it. I, 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 yes. The only reason you didn't become a career politician is you lost to Teddy Kennedy in 1994. I believe I can debate Barack Obama, and I think in seven three-hour debates, Barack Obama will not have a, a leg to stand on. We've got to bloody Obama's nose. I don't want to bloody his nose. I want to knock him out. <laughs> repudiate every effort of the news media. It's sad that the news media doesn't report accurately the destructive, vicious, negative nature of much of the news media. The media doesn't control free speech. People ought to be allowed to applaud if they want to. Kill them. I think it's one thing to have the right of free speech. No one has the right to be a mob. And if you want to put people in jail, I want to second what Michelle said. You ought to start with Barney Frank and Chris Dodd. Specifically said I would do no lobbying, and I offered advice. And my advice as a historian... You're an embarrassment to well, our party. I'm sorry you feel that way. Why don't you get out before sorry, you make a I'm bigger you fool of yourself? Uh-huh. Thank you very, very much. Good luck and God bless you.